Right, we're going to look uh, at putting Advent Calendar in Scratch. You'll notice I've already imported into the stage background the uh, the house, and I've already created a couple of apps down the a couple of tiles down the bottom. But we'll look at those in a wee minute. So first things first, um, this tile I've created, tile number one. I just simply drew a new sprite, and I simply filled it in like that. Put in a wee bit of text in the middle of it. Put a number. Dragged where I wanted to go, and that was pretty much it. Although it didn't disappear last time I did it. This is why you never do anything live in front of a class. Oh four. Okay. Don't forget to set your centre position. And when you go back to it, now you should have the button created here, and you can simply. Scale that down so it's a wee bit smaller so it fits inside the window like that, which is great. And then the idea is you would simply duplicate this for the next button. But you'll find when you go ahead and do that, that you might have thought that what I'll do is to go for T and then you can't click on the four. All right, so you're then resorting to, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to use the dropper tool and I'm going to have to fill in this and I'm going to have to paint it and all these other sort of bits and sort of try and do that or this to get rid of the four then I'm going to draw the four and it's never going to be as nice second time round. so there's an easier way of doing that and that's when you create the sprite to create the sprite in vector mode so we go for paint new sprite this time down the bottom here we see convert to vector it changes all the tools across the other side and it now works slightly different because every object we draw is going to be separate so if we draw the rectangle, I'm going to put it in red. Let me add the text, I'll change it to black, and I'll put in 04. And just simply drag it in position. Remember to set my center. Okay, click off of it. Now you can see we've got number 4. And when I duplicate that, so that we've now got it down here. When we go to the costume and edit, it's a simple matter of going for the text and we can actually change it. We don't have to edit and pull, do everything else. It's all just there. It also means because it's vector mode that it's separate. So if you want to just grab it by the hand and move it, you can just move it with using these tools at the side, which makes it quite handy for us. So that's the first thing. So my day number one, I created in this. I don't want that anymore, so I'm going to delete it. I'm going to delete my other sprites just to sort of tidy it up so I'm left with day number two let me duplicate that and we're going to change the two here to a one you'll notice it says day three hit the I change the sprite name to day one okay so there we go we've got our sprite wait for the web to catch up with us now we can just put it in position and we're going to add some scripts to it. So the first sort of script I'd say is when the flag is script, when the flag is clicked, what we're going to do is reset everything back. So we'll go for looks and we're going to switch to costume, costume one, and that's fine. We also might want to show it. Okay, so now it should appear when the flag is clicked, in case we hide it later on. Down here we've got some um, a sprite I've created. We're going to use this in a wee minute on Sprite 2. So for day one, all we're going to do is nice and simple. When you click on the Sprite, we would like it to switch to a new costume. So I need a new thing. I'm going to bring it in from the library. I'll go for things. Laptop might be quite useful. Let's see what it looks like. grab it for us, see what it looks like and see if it brings it in. Okay, so laptop, and you can see it's a bit on the big side. We can always scale that down. So it's 200% just now, so we can scale it down. Drink. Now the problem with that shrink is going to be when we switch back to the previous one, the size has changed the costume, so we need to grow that back out. 
script back in position. Back to the script. When the sprite is clicked, we want to switch to costume laptop, but we're also going to have to change the size. So let's set the size, and uh, we'll set the size in here. Play about with it. I think probably 30. Not too bad. So fly clicked, fine. Sprite clicked, fine. Okay. So, what happens there is nice and simple. When the flag is clicked, it sets the size to 90. Switches on the costume to costume 1. But when we click on the sprite itself, it's changing the size to 30 to account for the different size of the laptop sprite. And then switching to the laptop sprite. And all that happens before you notice it. So it becomes as simple as that. And if you click on it again, nothing else appears to happen until you hit the flag. Right. So that is the first basic one, and it's just a simple matter of having two costumes for every single one of your boxes. That's nice, but not exactly very interesting. So what we want to do is with Sprite 2, is something a wee bit different. I'm going to use that costume, right, Sprite for the flag, so I'm going to drag it in here. Okay, so that's that done. And then when it is clicked, we're going to use a broadcast so what we're going to do is we're going to simply hide and broadcast. Uh, looks, looks, looks. Hide, events. We're going to broadcast day two. And on this sprite here, which are the lights, We're going to have that sitting, waiting for a, a costume, so it's going to hide when the flag is clicked. And when it receives day two, it's going to show before starting a flash sequence. So, when we click Sprite 2, Sprite 2 is going to hide, sorry, Day 2 is going to hide. It's going to send out a broadcast to called Day 2. The broadcast is going to be picked up by these lights, and then these lights should appear and start to flash. And if the whole thing works, it should look a bit like this. So, you'll notice it disappeared. Day 1, laptop, Day 2, flashing lights down on the tree. Okay? So it's a fairly simple effect, but with that, what we can do is we can broadcast any other effect. So, for example, we might have snowmen appearing, we might have reindeer coming in, we might have Santa popping up out a chimney. We can do whatever we want. It's just more complex because we have to use two separate sprites and we have to use a broadcast to do it. And that's the end of this one.